everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shave. So we're gonna get into another uh, shave here, a test shave with this razor. If you guys can already see by the cover photo there. Um, today we're gonna be using the feather blade. So you guys, like, like the picture shows, I couldn't wait to get back into uh, the Sterling Boar brush. It's still not fully broken in, but wow, has it done such a great job in breaking in. Um, yeah, so I've been super stoked, been dying to get into that brush for uh, for a while now. Um, so let's get into it, guys. Rex Ambassador, and we're gonna give it another test run and see how it does. <clears throat> there you guys have it. And um, I always forget to show you guys the number on the back, but I don't wanna bump the camera. I'm trying my best not to bump the camera here. Um, come on, there's a number there. So that's the date code, the earlier model. Um, I guess this one's had some, uh, not necessarily issues, but some setbacks. Um, I don't wanna, uh, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, what I'm trying to explain is that Matt at Razor Important has, uh, as each razor has come up for every new month, uh, there's been some kind of, uh, upgrade or or um fix something people weren't really happy about uh blade gap being one of them not being uh aggressive enough or uh the bottom part here being too thin um the dial not being you know um uh not so easy to turn if you will um you know how people were having problems with the dial not you know staying um or accidentally slip, slipping the dial around while you're shaving, stuff like that. So this is one of the earlier models. Um, so yeah, let's get into this here. We're gonna be using um, these blades here today, the Feather. Super high stainless, or high, high stainless, I'm sorry. Oleo Soapworks, Arvin Park. Brand new tub. There you guys go. And here's uh, the ingredient list in the back. Um, yeah, so this is her canard formula. If you guys can see, the duck fat is right there. And I'm gonna go in with the matching aftershave bomb, or aftershave splash and I'm gonna go in with the aftershave bomb so that's that let me go ahead and load my blade we'll be using a brand new blade haven't used these blades in quite some time so you guys can see it is still sealed So how are you guys been doing? Hope you guys are having a good one, having fantastic shaves. For myself, um, not doing pretty good. I, I woke up with uh, um, being irritated. <laughs> um, things aren't going the way I planned. Um, let me go ahead and put this blade down so I can open up this razor. Yeah, so um, things have not been going the way I planned. Um, I haven't explained this to anybody, and I did not even Alex knows at the moment yet. But um, there's the blade there. Yeah, so not even Alex or Tony. Tony, I haven't talked to him about anybody about it. Uh, she's been so damn irritated. Uh, my AC on my truck took a shit again. Um, but see, it, it's been giving me some problems. It's been giving me some problems because I can't. They can't diagnose what the problem is. It's it's an intermittent problem, which sucks. So I'm gonna knock that down, and we'll go to the lowest settings there. Um, let me see something here is not right. Hmm. Okay. Um, no, let me double 
check that. Something's not right with this blade. Give me a second, guys. Um, this is kind of weird. I wasn't expecting this. Something's definitely not right here. Before I show you what I what I just seen, let me uh, let me mess with this blade a little bit. Maybe I just never noticed it before. That would explain what the issues I've been having. Hmm, okay, I, I found something by accident, guys. Um, okay, you can't really tell there. If you look at it very carefully, you may see. If you guys can see the left side, this side over here, my left side, there's more gap than the right side. Okay, turn the razor around. You guys can see that there, there's a very, very minimal, noticeable uh, blade gap. Now watch when I lower it all the way down. Oh wait, no. Nope, something's not, oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> to adjust the bottom. Okay, uh, anyways, let me lower this all the way down. Now check out that blade gap. See the difference in the blade gap? The left side over here is more higher than the right side. Turn it around. Same thing. Now the right side is higher than the left side. And I will show you guys right now. I'll loosen this up. Okay. Now the bottom is completely dropped. Okay. Now the blade is right there. You guys can see that. Okay. And then the little nubs, I'm gonna push down until they lock. Okay, they can't move anymore. That means the blade is in its in its in its position, and so is the cap. And we'll just tighten this up. Tighten it down, and there you guys go again. Seen that? Now I wonder if that's the reason why the shaver was the, was the way it was shaving. Interesting. I never noticed that. I noticed that by accident. Let me take this blade out and put in the persona and there you guys go that's a persona okay so there you go again the cap does not move because it is locked in place or in its 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 resting place. I'm gonna tighten that up. And sure enough, there is our problem there. And I don't know what they would do to fix that. Check that out. Wow. Okay, um I'm gonna go pick up the settings. I never noticed that. That was by accident. There you guys go. You can see the left side. Left side is higher than the right side. The right side is higher than the left side. The blade is in there fine, guys. It really is. Wow. Um, well, we're here. I didn't really get any uh, bad irritation or nicks or anything like that. And let's just give it a shot with the um, 
feather. I know you guys are probably cringing and thinking, no, don't do it. Yelling at the screen. <laughs> Let's go with it, guys, and see what happens, all right? Fingers crossed that nothing happens. And I'll even load it like this, like they mentioned to load it. Okay. Press down. Turn the dial. That way it doesn't turn. Okay. Tightened up. <laughs> Still the same issue. Okay. Um, even if you squeeze, it doesn't move. There's no wiggle or bounce room like you get with the Gillette's. Um, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm actually starting to sweat now. Um, I, I can't believe I didn't notice that. I noticed, I, I mean, you guys noticed that there was something weird with the shaves. That's for sure. I don't know what exactly it's the problem that why it's crooked. Oh, I do see the issue. Okay, I do see the issue. I see what's going on here. Let me see if I can put this out to you guys. This is crazy. I'm CSI in this thing right now. Give me a minute, guys. All right, if you guys can see here, there's less metal compared to the compared to the left side. Oh, my left side is over here. This right side, there's less metal. If you guys can see that. Don't look at the blade gap, but look, look at the metal, the thickness of the metal here. Oh, come on. The thickness of the metal here versus the thickness of the metal here. You guys can see the big difference there. Same thing with this side. Less metal ground down here and more metal over here. Can you see that? It almost makes it look like it's at a slam, but it's not. It's that there's less metal. If I wish I had a micrometer with me, I, I could have measured it. But, uh, all right, well, let's go with the lowest. We're going to go with the lowest setting, guys, to see what it's like first, okay? This is a 0.5. This video is going to be long. Well, okay. Oh, that's not good. All right. So let's go ahead and start loading the puck here. Drop a big clump of soap there. And uh, we actually, when we went to the uh, meetup, the um, uh, West Coast Shaving Meetup, uh, there was actually some guys there uh, who had talked about it. There were some um, issues with uh, the production pieces that they got sent out to try out. Um, there were, you know, some parts were sticking. Um, they were told to use vice grips to fix the issue, uh, to unlock it. Uh, others were saying that uh, uh, add some water to it to get it unstuck. Um, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I, I know that, you know, there's supposed to be lifetime warranty. I also was told from a buddy of mine that um, it's not fair that their lifetime warranty, but all these new ones that are coming out, you know, they should have gotten emails saying, hey, we upgraded this, we upgraded that, you know, um, send, your, send us out your razor and we'll replace it with a new one. That's what they should have done, but I was told that they didn't, that uh, Matt didn't do that. So that's kind of a... Uh, that really is a bummer if you to find that out because um, that's something that should have been done automatically you know if if they're if they're making things better than they were before um, if their lifetime warranty you should have gotten an email you know uh, stating that that you know hey we uh, we fix this we fix that and the other and uh, send us out your razor you know something like that but that wasn't the case. Let's 
So, buddy, if you're watching this, let me know if you if you seen that on that razor, because I don't know if you've noticed it or not. If you have, um, I wish you would have told me. <laughs> nah, it's all good. This soap smells so good. Go with that there. I wasted enough time yapping. All right, so let's get on with the shade, see how this goes.
go up on the setting. Let's go to setting four. There you guys go. Let's see how this works. Cross screen. Feel a little smoother. Yeah, it feels a little smoother. I've actually been able to use settings. Let's see how this one, other one goes. Go with setting six and a half. There you go. Far so good. Well, I 
feel like I cut myself there. Wow. I think uh, this is the, the blade, the blade uh, razor combo. Myself, I felt that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It feels funny on the dip. I gotta bring that down. Let's, um, Bring it down to three. to um, back to point five. Right, this is taking a little longer than I hope, guys. I'm going to try to get this closed without hurting myself, and I'll be back for the rest of the post. Ah! All right, I'm back, guys. Just did my um, cleanup passes off camera. Warm water, cold water rinse. Can't get in with the Allen stick now. No, I struggled a little bit, but I got it BPS with no irritations that I can tell. The alum doesn't show any irritation. A little stinging, very minimal. But I gotta say, pretty good. Let me rinse this off when I'll be back. All right. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Given the um, 
having the little blade gap issue there. Even going through the settings, it was a really good shave. Um, I kind of would like to see what that razor, uh, how that razor performs um, if the, um, uh, I don't know what you'd call if the blade exposure or if it's the metal on there. It looks like to me it gets the metal, um, but there's no way of telling if I, if I can't measure it. But regardless, um, I guess I was shaving with the slant the whole time. Um, and I got a great, great shape from that. Um, but out of all the shaves that I've gotten with the blade, I would say that the feathers are uh, the most efficient and they feel the most smooth, smoothest. Um, but with that blade, I can't get the upper lip part here. Um, I actually had to clean this up with a, a 0.5, which is pretty good because it, it did pretty good um, compared to the other, other razors, even though the other razors or the other blades were pretty sharp, I still couldn't get this part of my lip on a 0.5 so it's really it's a really odd razor i mean given given what, what i found um but as to i don't know if it, if it comes down to the razor or the blade combo so it's, it's a tough one it's a tough one guys but all in all i got a great shave and um let's go ahead and finish that off now I'm gonna get in with the aftershave splash and this is the mentholated uh, version here the soap feels feels great the soap smells great great slickness great protection that's what I like about Vito's uh, soap or splashes should I say or I meant to say, um, they got a great amount of menthol in it. That's great stuff. Now, I believe this has, yeah, it has got a little cap in it. I'm gonna go with one pump. Gotta get it out first. So, one pump, that might have been too much. We'll see. Yep. So half a pump would have would have done good. <laughs> All right. I'll just comb that through the beard here in a minute. Wow, this is great stuff. Let's get on over the, the cone here. Well, all right, that's great, guys. That was a really, really great shave. I really enjoy that. The scent, the smell is fantastic. Um, can't complain. So let's get in with the post here. Or not the post, but the recap. We went with Arvin Park from Old Blue Soapworks. Went in with the matching aftershave splash mentholated, the aftershave bomb, the trifecta, went with the uh, sterling bore brush, there you guys go, went in with the feather high stainless um, blades, went with the Rex ambassador, there you guys go. And that was my shave, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for being such a damn long video. Um, I didn't expect any of this in the beginning. Um, but yeah, if, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit that little bat icon down at the bottom so that way you guys get my next future notifications whenever my new videos pop up. 
so that way you guys don't miss out and i will catch you guys on the next one y'all stay safe out there later